In this video, I will show you how to use server array in PHP to get relevant URL of the current page. So server array is this is a server. This is a building array in PHP to get the execution environment information. So okay, I have a file here. So get URL the PHP. So the full directory is HTTP localhost. I use the SMPP uh, in the same directory as jQuery AJAX. So I, for example, I have a get URL the PHP, and the parameters user ID equal to. So the server array in the HTTP host in server array you we run this echo this one we get the local host this is a domain name or host address so another is very important is the PHP cell in the server array in this PHP cell we often use in HTML form to run this uh, form post. So you will echo this one. This is the AM, this is the web address, SAMP, for example, jQuery ages, get your uh, uh, PHP mainly this one, this part. We also have a query string. The query string in the server array is we get the URL parameters, for example, user ID equal to. So we get many user ID equal to. So if we combine these together, for example, the server HTTP host, this is the local host, the server U URI. The server URI is similar to the PHP but a little different. Server URI includes everything. Also, this is the user ID, the parameter also include. So if we put two together, so this is the full address. So we remember the URI is have a user ID equal to compare more user ID equal to compare to the PHP cell. We also get get a full URL we can use another one. Use the PHP cell. In this case we need to add the server query string here. Put the user ID here. Then we can still get a full URL. If we want to include the server port, we need to add the server port here. In this case, we use the server name plus the server request URI with the server port here. Then we can get the full address here. This server name also localhost. So if we want to get the only one to want to get a directory, for example, HTTP, this uh, localhost jQuery directory, we don't want this uh, web address and uh, these parameters. So we can use to first define the URL is this one. Then this is the similar as following as a uh, full address but we use the DIR name in this DIR name then we can get this one this the directory this one so let's run this code here run this code and we get this one compare let's see here compare to this one we have 